hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be sharing about aws cloud practitioner exam questions though so this is part six of uh, real exam questions i have already created a series part one to part five so i will leave the link to those videos in the description box you can check those questions as well and i recently cleared aws cloud practitioner exam and i practiced these questions to pass the exam so hopefully you'll be seeing these questions in the exam as well so let's get started so let's look into question number 61 a company that has multiple business units wants to centrally manage and govern its aws cloud environments the company wants to automate the creation of aws accounts apply service control policy and simplify billing process which aws service or tool should the company use to meet these requirements and the options are aws organizations cost explorer AWS budgets and AWS trusted advisor and the correct answer is AWS organizations. Now let's look into the next question, question number 62, which IT controls do AWS and the customer share according to the AWS shared responsibility model and you have to choose two options. A physical and environmental controls, B patch management, C cloud awareness and training, D zone security, E application data encryption, and the correct options are B and C, patch management and cloud awareness and training. Now let's look into the next question, question number 63. A company is launching an application in the AWS cloud. The application will use Amazon S3 storage. A large team of researchers will have shared access to the data. The company must be able to recover data that is accidentally overwritten or deleted. Which S3 feature should the company turn on to meet this requirement? And the options are A, server access logging, B, S3 versioning, C, S3 lifecycle rules, D, encryption and transit and at rest. So let's see what is the correct option. The correct option is B, S3 versioning. Let's look into question number 64. A manufacturing company has a critical application that runs at a remote site that has a slow internet connection. The company wants to migrate the workload to AWS. The application is sensitive to latency and interruptions in connectivity. The company wants a solution that can host this application with minimum latency. Which AWS service or feature should the company use to meet these requirements? And the options are availability zones, AWS local zones, AWS wavelength, AWS outpost. And the correct answer is D, AWS Outpost. Now question number 65, a company wants to migrate its application from its on-premises data center to a VPC in the AWS cloud. These applications will need access on-premises resources. Which actions will meet these requirements? So you have to choose two options. A, use AWS Service Catalog to identify a list of on-premises resources that can be migrated. B, create a VPN connection between an on-premises device and a virtual private gateway in the VPC. C. Use an Amazon CloudFront distribution and configure it to accelerate content delivery close to the on-premises resources. D. Set up an AWS Direct Connect connection between the on-premises data center and AWS. E. Use Amazon CloudFront to restrict access to static web content provided to on-premises web servers. And the correct option is A and D. Use AWS Service Catalog to identify a list of on-premises resources that can be migrated and then set up an AWS Direct Connect connection between on-premises data center and AWS. Now let's look into the next question, question number 66. A company wants to use AWS Cloud to provide secure access to desktop applications that are running in a fully managed environment. Which AWS service should the company use to meet this requirement? And the options are A, Amazon S3, B, Amazon AppStream 2.0, C, AWS AppSync, D, AWS Outpost. And the correct option is B, Amazon AppStream 2.0. Let's look into question number 67. Question is, a company wants to implement threat detection on its AWS infrastructure. However, the company does not want to deploy additional software. Which AWS service should the company use to meet these requirements? And the options are A, Amazon VPC, B, Amazon EC2, C, Amazon Guard Duty, D, AWS Direct Connect. And the correct option is Amazon Guard Duty. So Guard Duty can be used for threat detection on the AWS infrastructure. Now let's look into the next question, question number 68. Which AWS service uses edge locations? And the options are A, Amazon Aurora, B, AWS Global Accelerator, C, Amazon Connect, 
D AWS Outpost and the correct option is B AWS Global Accelerator. Let's look into question number 69. A company needs to install an application in a Docker container, which AWS service eliminates the need to provision and manage the container host. And the options are A, AWS Fargate, B, Amazon FSx for Windows file server, C, Amazon Elastic Container Service, and D, Amazon EC2. And the correct option is A, AWS Fargate. So, so let's look into the next question now. And now the question number 70, it says, which AWS service or feature checks access policies and offers actionable recommendations to help users set secure and functional policies? And the options are AWS Systems Manager, B, AWS IAM Access Analyzer, third option is AWS Trusted Advisor, and Amazon Guard Duty. And the correct option is B, AWS IAM Access Analyzer. Now let's look into the next question, question number 71. It says a company has a fleet of cargo ships. The cargo ships have sensors that collect data at sea where there is intermittent or no internet network, internet connectivity. The company needs to collect, format and process the data at sea and move the data to AWS later. Which AWS service should the company use to meet these requirements? And the options are A, AWS IoT Core, B, Amazon LightSail, C, AWS Storage Gateway, D, AWS Snow Edge, Snowball Edge, and the correct option is D, AWS Snowball Edge. Now let's look into question number 72. A retail company needs to build a highly available architecture for a new e-commerce platform. The company is using only AWS services that replicate data across multiple availability zones. Which AWS services should the company use to meet this requirement? And you have to choose two options. A, Amazon EC2. B, Amazon Elastic Block Store. C, Amazon Aurora. D, Amazon DynamoDB. And E, Amazon Redshift. And the correct option is C and D, Amazon Aurora and Amazon DynamoDB. Now let's look into the next question. Question number 73, which characteristic of the AWS cloud helps users eliminate underutilized CPU capacity? And the options are A, agility, B, elasticity, C, reliability, D, durability, and the correct option is B, elasticity. Now let's look into question number 74. Service control policies manage permissions for which of the following? A, availability zones, B, AWS regions, C, AWS organizations, D, edge locations. And the correct option is C, AWS organizations. N now let's look into the next question. Question number 75. Which AWS service can be used to encrypt data at rest? Amazon Guard Duty, AWS Shield, AWS Security Hub, AWS Key Management Service, KMS, and the correct option is D, AWS Key Management Service, KMS. Now let's look into question number 76. Which characteristics are advantages of using AWS Cloud? You have to choose two options. 100% service level agreement for all AWS services. Compute capacity that is adjusted on demand. C, availability of AWS support for code deploy development d enhanced security e increases in capa in cost and complexity so you have to tell which characteristics are advantages of using aws cloud and the correct option are b and d which is compute capacity that is adjusted on demand and enhanced security now let's look into the next question question number 77 a user is storing objects in amazon s3 the user needs to restrict access to the objects to meet compliance obligations what should the user do to meet this requirement? And the options are A, use AWS Secret Access Manager, Secrets Manager. B, tag the objects in the S3 bucket. C, use security groups. D, use network ACLs. And the correct option is B, tag the objects in the S3 bucket. Now let's look into the next question, question number 78. A company wants to convert video files and audio files from their service format from the source format into a format that will play on smartphones, tablets, and web browsers. Which AWS service will, will meet these requirements? And the options are A, Amazon Elastic Transcoder, B, Amazon Comprehend, C, AWS Glue, D, Amazon Recognition, and the correct option is A, Amazon Elastic Transcoder. Now let's look into the next question, question number 79. Which of the following are benefits of Amazon EC2 auto scaling? And you have to choose the two options. Option A is improved health and availability of applications. B, reduced network latency. C, optimized performance and cost. D, automated snapshots of data. 
and E cross region replication and the correct options are A and C improved health and availability of applications and optimized performance and costs. Now let's look into question number 80. So a company has several departments. Each department has its own AWS accounts for its application. The company wants all AWS costs on a single invoice to simplify payment, but the company wants to know the cost that each department is incurring. Which AWS tool or feature will provide this functionality? AWS cost and usage reports, consolidated billing, savings plan, AWS budgets. And the correct option is B, consolidated billing. So that's it for today. Uh, these are the questions that I have created for AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. And you would be keen to know that these are some of the real exam questions. And please consider subscribing to our channel. It is really important so that we can get motivated to create more such information videos. All the best for the exam. Thank you. Bye-bye.